everybody and welcome to another episode of Come Spin With Me. Unfortunately this is going to be a short episode and I have some eh, possibly bad news about future episodes of Come Spin With Me. Ugh, I don't know if you can tell the lighting is way weirder than it usually is because I'm filming this quite late in the uh, afternoon evening. In fact Oh, it's almost 6.30. But um, I did want to get an episode in. I kind of thought about whether I should film or not, and I figured I might as well do it. Um, I brought some fiber porn, so we can at least do that this week. Uh, but I got some not wonderful news at work today. It's, I, it's not a crisis or anything, but um, I'm being deployed to another area of the company for about 30 days, which means that uh, my schedule's gonna be different. I'm gonna be working longer hours. My lunches aren't going to be as flexible as they have been. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to film my regular weekly episodes of Come Spin With Me because I do those during the week. Today's Wednesday. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to do any filming at lunch today because I was in training. I'm gonna be in training all day tomorrow too. So for the next month, possibly longer, depending on uh, whether they extend my deployment or not, um, I may or may not be able to film Come Spin With Me episodes. So if you don't see one up every Wednesday, please bear with me and I apologize ahead of time, but scheduling is what it is. And if I can fit an episode in, I will. If I can't, then I just, I can't. So anyway, this, uh, this episode, I'm just going to be able to do fiber porn. I'm not actually going to be able to do any spinning because it's starting to get late and I just don't have time to get that all set up. But I did want to say hello and spend a little time with you. So I did go up to my room of shame and pulled down some fiber so that we could at least do a little bit of fiber porn. And I also thought I would show you a uh, work in progress that I'm doing with a hand spun of mine. I'm knitting some socks. And so I thought I would show that to you as well. So hopefully this is enough to tide you over for a little bit. And again, I'm really sorry. Whew. All the guilt about not being able to film is making me thirsty. <sighs> Yum. Okay, so let's get to some fiber porn, shall we? Last week I didn't have any Southern Cross fiber from David. I don't know what was wrong with me. That was craziness, but I have fixed that this week. And I pulled out, um, let's see, I've got three fibers from David, two of which I had never seen until today because I received my club shipment and I never even opened the package. That's how much fiber I have. I would get a shipment of club and not even open it. That doesn't mean that I had never seen the colorway. I had seen it on the computer. I just had never seen it in real life. So the first one I'm, I'm gonna show you <coughs> Ugh, frog in my throat. Hmm. The first one I'm going to show you is called Marine Predator. It was the club fiber for September of 2013, and it's on BFL, one of my favorite fibers to spin. Ugh, isn't that beautiful? You know, the lighting isn't what it normally is, but looking in this viewfinder, it looks like it's excellent lighting for showing off fiber. I am getting some really good color in here. This is absolutely gorgeous. And as much as I love BFL, I know that everybody had um, kind of weighed in on which fiber should be the next on the wheel. And I had um, a couple of options from last week. I hate to say it, guys. This might jump the queue. It might jump the queue. It's that pretty. And then the other uh, club from that, or the other fiber from that month's club, again, September of 2013, also on BFL, was called Foggy Meadow. And this is Foggy Meadow. And as you can see, Foggy Meadow has some, um, it's hard for me to see what the colors are. There's definitely some pale blue and then some darker blue here and some dark greens and some really pretty mossy kind of, um, almost algae colored greens in here that are just lovely, plus some tan. But this is a really pretty one as well. But oh my God, that marine predator, yum. 
Um, okay, and then the third and final from uh, David over at Southern Cross. This was a club fiber from August of 2013, and it's called Patina. This one, um, I think you get a better idea of the color if I show you the front here. Um, there's the reds and the rusts and the dark brown and then some copper color here and then some green. So like the patina of, you know, age on something. I can't remember what um, his inspiration photo was or what his inspiration was on this one, but um, beautiful patina. This is really, really pretty. And this is again a Falkland and Tussa Silk Blend. It's 80% uh, Falkland and 20% Tussa Silk. And as you know, love me a silk blend so this is a good one too Ooh, have to look and watch my time doing good this is probably only going to be a 10 minute uh video guys really sorry but at least we're getting something right um okay the next fiber that i brought down is another one from four rivers yarn and i showed you uh one of these last week or the week before and it was called orchard and this one is actually a similar colorway and this one's called sweet orchard pardon me this is also on bfl and this is like a little bit more muted version of the brighter orange orchard that i showed you uh a week or two ago i can't remember good god everything blends together <laughs> and my brain is mush today just mush from all the training we're deploying an entire new uh, system on the computers at work for uh, what I'm going to be going and doing, uh, which is not normally my job. It's what I audit. It's the people that I audit, but I'm going to go do their job for 30 days because they're getting a brand new uh, system. Oh, so I'm learning a brand new system in two days, which uh, that's rough. Anywho. Um, the next one I brought down is, I think this is kind of an old one. I can't remember. Um, it's a two of by hand, and it was dyed by, it doesn't say, they didn't circle Jalen or Maria, so I actually don't know which one of them did this. But it's a Polworth fiber, and the colorway name is uh, called Great Plains. And I bought two of these, I think. And it's a beautiful uh, mix here of some blues, like uh, pale blues with some tans and browns. And I love um, blue and brown mixed together. And then if you'll see right here, there's a little bit of red. Um, and there's a little bit of it on this end as well, just a little tiny bit, just little flecks of it in there. But that ought to be beautiful. And this Polworth, I tell you, is uh, already fluffy. And I haven't even spun it. It already feels like it went poof. But it is absolutely beautiful. Love the two of my hand girls. Love them. And then here is another two of my hand. This is also one that I bought around the same time. They do... Um, they do their sales on Big Cartel online, but they also go to fiber shows. And if I'm not mistaken, these were fibers that they took to the fiber show. And when they came back, what they what stock they had left, they sold in their shop. But so it's labeled just a little bit differently because it's labeled to uh, hang up in a booth at their show. Anywho, this is called Exhausted, and it is on Falkland. And again, it doesn't say which one of the girls dyed this. But um, I will tell you that I also bought two braids of this so that I could do a slightly larger project. It's uh, deep dark greens, a bunch of deep dark greens with some lighter green sections and gorgeous. Oh my God, we're gonna go over 10 minutes. This is awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna pause before we get to the last one and be right back, hang on. And we're back. Okay, um, the last fiber that I brought down is a two of my hand. It is a Polworth and it was dyed by Maria. And the name of the colorway is Windfall. And this is just, um, it's got a ton of different colors in it. Kind of the way uh, Whizbangs does, 
but these are much more muted. There's some um, beautiful like fuchsia colors and then the yellows. Um, it's not as dark as say a whiz bangs, but this is just lovely. The pinks in here are a little bit more on the rosy side and then those beautiful, that pop of green right there. Ugh, I love when there's a pop of something unexpected and bright. So beautiful. So that, that's the fiber corn for this week's show. And again, I really am sorry. There just wasn't time for me to get all set up for the spinning. Um, I don't know if you can tell if the lighting is changing for you, but it's starting to get dark outside. The sun is setting. Um, so for the last thing I'll show you, I um, don't know how many of you have this pattern or have knit it yet, but oh my gosh, I'm seeing it everywhere. And I finally gave in uh, because I actually had to test something and in order to test it I bought a pattern so since it was only a dollar I bought the fish lips kiss heel sock pattern I think that's what it's called I know fish lips kiss yeah fish lips kiss and I um, showed on the come come knit with us video last weekend last Saturday so just the most recent one I showed you two hand spuns that I was debating on using for socks and I selected this one and I believe I don't I think I told you on that video that I thought the colorway was Holly Holiday but I actually think it's a colorway called Romance and I had a, a few braids of that and I don't know where the rest of them are I should but I know I spun one up and I think that's what this is it's a it's just a beautiful colorway with some deep dark um, reds and purples and blues and I did a standard three ply with this so I get a lot of barber pulling and I went ahead and cast on the socks and I've gotten I started toe the toe up and then did the fish lips kiss heel here. I even did the um, the foot template <laughs> that she describes, which is un not something I would normally do, but it was uh, in the pattern. You do a template for the foot and take some measurements, and I did that. And it's kind of cute having, ooh, I almost had a yarn down. Oh my God, what would I do all alone, a yarn down? Um, it was interesting using a cardboard template to knit the sock. I think because I did the template myself instead of having somebody help me like the pattern recommended that my uh, line for where my uh, ankle hinge or the place where you're supposed to start working on the heel, I think that was a little bit off, but not by much, just a little bit. So the sock is a little bit long, but the heel is such a blast. The only thing that I'm disappointed about, and it's only a personal thing because I'm a little OCD when it comes to my socks, is you'll notice when you look at this that the foot and the leg are very defined different colors. Now I expected the hand spun to stripe a little bit. I didn't expect it to be quite such lengthy chunks of specific color families, but you can see that the foot has a lot more of the purpley red in it and the leg has a lot more of the blue. And that's just the luck of the, of the spin. That's how it came out. It's a three ply. I didn't Navajo ply it, so I wasn't trying to keep colors together. I mishmashed it um, so that there would be plenty of color blending. And there is a lot of blending, but there ended up being this very defined mark and it was just the way the yarn was. It just happened to change colors uh, when I got here. Oh my gosh, my camera battery is dying. This is terrible. Anyway, okay, well this is the sock. I'm gonna have to end it here. I'm really sorry. Again, I will film as I can. I will do what I can, And uh, but if you don't see a come spin with me for a couple of weeks or more, bear with me. I'm really sorry, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.